In this screencast, we're going to talk about calculating area as the focus. Uh, in order to calculate the surface area of a three-dimensional object, you must calculate the area of each of the sides of the object, then add those areas together to get the total surface area. Uh, the sides of the object can be different in shapes, various shapes, and so in this screencast, we're going to focus on not the three-dimensional object, but the various sides you might find, different shapes you might find in an object. We're going to choose five of, our, of more common shapes and for calculating area. And so the, the following uh, of the five we're going to do. First one, if you look at number one here, that's uh, a rectangle shape. And rectangles, we generally speaking, we, we talk about, to find the area, we talk about the length of the rectangle and we talk about the width of a rectangle. And the area is length times width. And that's uh, probably one you've heard before, you've used before, and but just to kind of reminder. So we've got the rectangle is length times width. That's the area, or the area, not the perimeter, the distance around, but the area it covers. Okay. Uh, now the area of a square. How is a square different than a rectangle? Well, the square has uh, the length of a square and the width of the square are the same, the same length. So we just call it S. Usually most books call it S for side length and so it's the same length and width as S. And so the area again is length times width or in other words S times S. We usually write it as S squared. Because S squared means S times S. So area of a square is S squared, side squared, and again, you've probably used that and seen that. All right, let's go on to a triangle. Now, a uh, triangle can be a little bit tricky. It depends on uh, the type of triangle you're looking at and the sides. Uh, what we're looking for here, we're looking for a, uh, a right angle. And the right angle, we, we use this, the bottom we'll call the base. And we'll call the height, which is 90 degrees to the base. And that other side there. So the area of a triangle, the, the for this triangle, we will put B time H, so base times height, and divide it by two. In other words, times a half. Now uh, we also what what if the triangle doesn't have a 90 degree and a right uh, a right angle in it? Well, we can just draw one. Let's just take and quickly draw one on the side here. Okay, here's here's a triangle. And uh, it has no 90 degrees in it. Uh, again, we need to figure out the base and the height. Well, the base, that's, we just call that the base, the bottom. And what about the height? Well, these, si these sides on it are sloped. But what I need to do then, I need to do is I need to find the height. The height is not the slope of the side. The height is actually this down the middle here, right? So it's a little bit off, but you know what I mean. It's from the top of this thing right to the bottom. So that's called the height, that distance there. And so if we need to find the area of that triangle, the surface area, we need to find out that height. They need to be given to us. You need to be able to figure it out somehow. So base times height divided by 2. Okay, let's move on here to the next one, and that's a uh, trapezoid. Okay, now a trapezoid has two parallel sides. Now for it to be parallel, one way we indicate that is you make a little arrow on it like that, and that means the two sides with the, with the arrows are parallel. If, if this side was parallel to the other side, the, other, the two sides, I would, I, go, I would go like that to show they're parallel. But in this case, those are not. We can clearly say those are not parallel. So let's, uh, let's get rid of those arrows because they're not parallel at all. Um, but uh, what about uh, what about these sides? Well first of all uh, we call this one, we'll call this one B1, it's the base, that's B1 and we'll call this B2. Those are the two parallel sides, B1 and B2. These sides here are ne not, not necessarily, indeed aren't necessarily the same length. Um, this could be a, a variety of, of lengths. And so they're not parallel, they're not the same length. They might be, but we, we can't assume that. But how do you find the area of something like this? Well, the area of a 
trapezoid is we take the two parallel sides, so we take the two one side the two sides and we add them together. We take the average, the average in length. So we take the two add them together, the two sides, two parallel sides, and divide it by two. That's how we find the average. And then what do we do? We take and multiply that by the height. Okay? And so we need to find a height here. Well, in this case, the height would be that the dist you know, this distance right here. It's not the size, because the sides are slopes. So the distance from there to there would give me the height. So again, we need to know the height of that thing as well in order to do the area. But in a question uh, you have, you'll be able to figure that out or it'll be given to you. Okay, lastly, we have a shape that has no straight size, but we have a circle. And the area of a circle, if you remember this one, um, is uh, pi r squared. And so pi is a, a number that hasn't have an end to it. It's 3.141, you know, 158, something like that. It goes on, 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 on. So uh, basically, if you use your calculator, you can use the pi button, or if you don't have the pi button, just use 3.14. It usually, will, for this course, will be good enough. Okay, so you punch that in your calculator if you want what pi is. Now, what is r? Well, r, if I find the, the, the center of this circle, r is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside edge of that circle. Uh, if I have... Um, if I, um, let's see, this, the distance across the whole thing would be the diameter. It's across the whole thing. So if I given the diameter, how do I find the radius? Well, if I got the diameter, I just take half of that, because, okay, divide it by two, and that'll give me the radius. Because the diameter is just two, r, is just two um, times r, it's just two r's. Okay, so take half of it, divide by two, and it gives you an R. Okay, and I think that's the basic uh, equation we know in order to do the, the surface area of objects.